What's going on, YouTube world? It's your girl, Kimberly. And you guys know how they always say that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, yes, that is very, very true. But also, if he has kids, he will love you for thoughtful, homemade gifts that you make for his children. And also, as a, if you're dating a woman that has kids, to make gifts for her. Kids love toys and all of that and laptop and you got the video games and all of that. But when you make something and you figure out like what the little random things that a child likes and you put that together in an arrangement for them, uh, they love that. They totally love it. Um, I'm going to show you guys something really super quick and that's what you guys are looking at right now. This is a homemade floor arrangement with a pinwheel added to it because who doesn't love a flipping pinwheel are you looking at this who, how could you not how could you not love that on a windy day outside or if you have kids and they are inside let's say they're sick put this by the fan or let them play with this and they just love a pinwheel so i'm going to show you guys how to make something really quick and, and inexpensive even maybe for your kids too so this is a pot only cost a dollar from the dollar store. Simple, beautiful pot came in different colors, but I wanted to get two of the same colors, okay? Especially if you're giving this to somebody who has two kids, you don't want there to be any issues about, you know, the color of the pot or anything like that. I just got two pots. I just thought that would be a better choice. The flowers are different colors that I'm using, and the pinwheels are different colors. But the pots, the base are the same. And they're cute enough that when the parents get tired of the whole fake pinwheel arrangement that you're making, they can actually use these for herbs or anything that they want to grow in their house. So they're sturdy enough for that too. So we got the pot. We got a foam piece that works perfectly for this size pot. And then I've got a piece of newspaper that I'm going to put in the pot to help secure the foam. All right, so this is all we're going to do. We got the pinwheels here. And I have a different floor arrangement here. I believe this also cost a dollar. The floor arrangement cost a dollar. All I'm going to do is take the floor, the newspaper. I you know, basically got one piece, rolled it up made it into the, the shape of the flower pot, put it in the base, that's it. The foam piece on top of that, push it down, secure it a little bit. Take my flowers, one stem of flowers. I like to fan them out because it gives the flowers like a different look. So I fan them out, really pretty, look at that. And then I'm gonna stick them in the middle of the pot inside the phone I'll just show you guys that real simple done put it back in here now let's take a pinwheel we're gonna stick one in the front facing the front Then we're going to take the other pinwheel and we're going to turn this around. And I think I'm going to do something different with this one. I want to take the other pinwheel, face it in the back, face in the opposite way. Now, I am just doing this because this is just what I choose to do as far as this arrangement, this look. You can arrange these however you want. It's still really cute. Um, just make sure that wherever you place the pinwheels that the kids can just, you know, still be able to move them like that. It prevents them in some cases, not all, <laughs> in some cases, it'll prevent the children from wanting to take the pinwheels out of the cup, which is why I also have a foam that's pretty durable. Um, I'm not really concerned about them eating the foam because nine times out of ten, you want to make sure you're putting this somewhere that is visual to you also. And then when they're playing with the pinwheels, none of these pieces come off, so they're not going to choke on that. We have sturdy flowers in here that kids are not going to choke on either. Um, so you just want to make sure that regardless of that, no matter what you are making for someone who does have kids, that you are using 
safe items, things that are not too small that a child could put in their mouth, okay? So now we got a pinwheel facing the back, and we have a pinwheel facing the front. And that is it. That, that is it. I am completely done with these arrangements. Here's the yellow flowers with one pinwheel. Really cute, real simple. And the thing that I like about this is that if the kids come to the gift that you make them, something this inexpensive, and let's say, oh, they bend the flowers or they, you know, do something weird with the pinwheel. It's only a dollar. It's not, you didn't spend a bunch of money, but you spent a lot of love in it. So make it something that they can also interact with, they can play with. This is actually fun for them to play with. The only thing that I wouldn't suggest, obviously, is them playing with the foam, especially if you have a one to two to three year old, maybe a four year old. Um, some of them like to bite food or bite things that look like food, rather. Um, so you just want to be careful about the foam. Um, this phone is pretty sturdy, but obviously a child that can bite can also bite through the phone regardless. So just kind of keep your eyes on that part or, you know, let the person know that you're giving this to. Like the phone is safe, but it's not edible. <laughs> you know, kind of remind them of that. So I just wanted to share this, guys, you know, this with you guys, rather, to show you something simple to give somebody that, you know, even a family friend, man. I mean, everybody likes something that they know you made and you put effort into. And these are just two things that I wanted to show you guys, like something cute and simple to give to someone. All right, you guys, have a great day, a great weekend, a great evening, a great rest of the week. And uh, make sure you always give some something to somebody from the heart. I mean, I love when people buy me gifts. I love that. That's a beautiful day and it's sweet and kind. But people have lost touch with, you know, face-to-face -face communications and being able to do something from the heart to give to somebody. If you're not, you know, FaceTiming with them, if you're not tweeting them, if you're not, you know, on Facebook with them, if you're not text messaging them, it's like you lose touch with humans. And you don't want to do that because it's a healthy thing to actually touch and give somebody something and share a moment with somebody versus just going to a restaurant and taking pictures of your food and that's it so you want to make sure you're doing something from the heart that somebody's going to remember you know we lose people every day but are we really close to them before we lose them so connect with people have that bond have that love have that real relationship with people so that they remember who you are always well, I love you guys. And again, simple, inexpensive, fun arrangements for children and uh, maybe even some older family members. Love you guys.